My mother always used to say that I had a great great grandfather that went from Spain to Mexico. And I always used to think, well, that'll be useful for my mother. <laughs> but of course, as mothers are always right, it turned out to be that I thought that would have been maybe a good interesting point because tequila was my poison. So if I were going to do anything, it had to be tequila. It turned out to be that his name was exactly my name. His name was Diego Soria. And I thought that was a sign if I've ever seen one. And it turned out to be that when he traveled from Spain to Mexico, he took some sherry wine barrels that my family still produce in Spain and put some tequila in the barrels, found out that after spending some time, it, it was revolutionary. I thought, oh, that's a really interesting story. Maybe I could recreate that. So I went to Spain. I took 20 barrels from Spain to Mexico. And what's most important is when I shipped the sherry wine barrels to be exact Pedro Jimenez to Mexico, I also asked the master distiller from Spain to come with because it was really important to me that the person that has been creating those sherry wines be part of the creation of the liquid. And the friction between the Spanish master distiller and the Mexican master distiller, each defending what they thought to be true to their Mexican master distiller, the soul of a tequila, and the Spanish master distiller, the finish in the sherry wine barrels, that friction, working with myself, we did 326 different iterations. I have a whole diary about it. That is what created Lobos.